Hello and welcome to Theology Untapped. My name is Andy. Now, if you're like me, you're having one of the worst year of your life, right? Just like the Murphy's Law says, anything that could go wrong will go wrong. And when it rains, it pours. And it's been one of those years, all right? Now, any, everything you could think of that could go wrong is going wrong, including my health. One of the worst news I could get, I got. And I'll share this with you. It comes from Psalm 77. And read, I, I'll read a verse. It says, I remember God and was troubled, complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. I mean, if you put flesh and blood in these writings, that's what I'm kind of going through. Going on, it says in verse 7, Will the Lord cast off forever? Will he be favorable no more? Because at some point, that's how I'm like I'm feeling. That God basically said, I'm too busy for you and your life. And it's not good. Is his mercy clean gone forever? Does his promise fail forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he been in anger? Shut up his tender mercies. I mean, he's going through a, a trouble. Like many of us are going through a struggle this year. But when something like this does happen, a lot of times we start asking questions about, did I do something wrong in my life? And of course, the answer is yes. Or do I deserve this? And a lot of those things. And, and as a Christian, when I was growing up, when... Things went wrong, you say, well, it's your fault. You must have sinned. You got to confess your sin. Or the devil is out to get you. So in a way, we're giving credit to the devil and Satan for bringing us all this trouble. And it's his fault. And if we want the devil to stay away from us, then we better get ourselves right with God. I mean, that's what I was taught. But if you really think about it, almost every religion says that. It's kind of like a common sense in the world. But you see, God is different. right? Psalm 77, when this man is going through all this trouble, he says in verse 10, And I said, this is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. During this time of my trouble, I will remember, I will remember the years, I guess in the past, of the right hand of the Most High. Meaning there were times in my past where God was favorable to me. So I guess what the verse is saying is that when you're going through these tough times in my life, in your life, our lives, that we just have to remember that God was good to us at one point. And if you go to verse 11, I will remember the works of the Lord, shall I remember the wonders of old. So verse 10 and 11 is kind of flows through together at least in the English version. But here's the but. Translation from Greek to English, you get something different. You notice in here in verse uh, 10, some of the words are in blue, others are not. But I will remember right there, that's not, on verse 10, that's not in the ori original text. It was added on there. By someone. I guess for a good reason. They want to explain what it means. But I believe what they did was. It changed the meaning of the verse. What it should read is. And I said. This is my infirmity. The years of the right hand of the most high. So what I believe. The writer is saying. Is that the trouble that I am in. Is the work of God. Is the work of God. Now, that makes a lot more sense because we're not giving credit to our enemies or Satan, the devil, and all that, the world stuff. We're, we're saying, God allowed this to happen. This is my trouble. This is my infirmity. This is the year of the right hand of the Most High. God is in control. God is in control. Now, if I think and believe that God is in control of my troubles, so far this year, then I could then go to verse 11 and said, oh, God is in control. 
So I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I remember the wonders of old. All the miracles and all the blessings of old. Like we, you know, tribute God for all the blessings in our lives, right? So in the midst of all the trouble, instead of saying, oh, you know what? I'm going to just have to, you know, think positively. In the past, God blessed me, so hopefully he'll bless me in the future. That's not it. I think it would strengthen our faith even more if we were to say and to think that even my troubles, even my struggles and pain and worries and anxieties, because of all the things that's going on around my life, this is in control by God. It is the right hand of God. This is God's doing. But I know who God is. He is merciful. right? And he is good. And he has done wonders. So if God is in control of my troubles, then God will be in control of whatever happens next. right? I will remember the works of the Lord. Because of that reason, God is in control. I will meditate on the work. And I will follow God even more because of my troubles. And this comforts me. I don't know if you have gone over this verse before or not, but it's not that we need to give uh, credit to the devil. We're not giving credit to the, the Satan or any, any enemies that we might think that we may have. We're not going to blame it on our sins of the past, because if we do, then nobody is safe. Right? But because of my faith, because of Jesus Christ, and because of God, even my troubles are the right hand, are caused by the right hand of God. And this is also 2024, all the trouble happening all at once. This year, too, is right hand of God. Then I could be assured that, that it will, God is in control, and he will bring blessings. So therefore... I'm going to meditate upon God's word. I'm going to worship him. I'm going to follow him. I think that works out much better. Now, if you're like me and going through a whole lot of trouble this year, I hope you can understand that this too is the right hand of God. He is in control. Meditate upon him. Walk in the path of righteousness, his righteousness. And his faith, and all things will work out for good. This is not just positive thinking. This is truth talking. God bless you. I hope you're having a wonderful year. And if you are, God bless you. Man, enjoy as much as you can. All right, God bless. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me today.